The campus closure has left many questions unanswered and may have jeopardised the future of Hastings. I spoke to council leader Peter Chowley to get his view. Another was there was no decent student accommodation provided, no good student union facilities, and the whole thing was just not developed in the way that it was going to be. And so it's that kind of half-hearted approach to it, then sort of you know, gave him the opportunity to say, oh, well, it's not working. But I, mean, I just don't think they, they really put the effort in. I mean, students in a town, you know, they, they, they do spend money, they do support the local economy. So yes, it will have a negative impact. The clubs and bars will notice it a bit, I'm sure, and pubs and so on that the students go to. Um, but, you know, it was, it was part of their business, not all of it. Uh, the money that was used to uh, create those university buildings was regeneration money given specifically for the purposes of beating up regeneration in Hastings. And the idea that Brighton University would simply sell those off and take the money back to Brighton, just asset strip, is just, you know, whether it's legal or not, it's extremely immoral. Brighton have not behaved terribly honourably in any of this.